We're going to bring the, the Manhattan Yacht Project back to watch the video one more time because it's super beautiful and to give you a chance to have some, um, some Q&A with Tony and with Jean-Pierre um, for the next 15 minutes. Would you please welcome Tony Ram, Ram Rakitos and very good. Okay, excellent. Very good, thank you. Uh, yesterday we had a presentation for those of you who aren't here. Uh, Julie kindly enough uh, uh, allowed us to uh, hit on the Q&A session today because we didn't have time to do that yesterday. Uh, just for a couple, we're going to run uh, only the presentation, the short video that we had on that. And then, uh, thank you. And then we're going we're gonna to go on this. The first electric hospitality yacht in the world. Now, a part of the long of Franco-American music, bringing artistic destiny between Frederica, his French ocean liners, enter the Maritime Legion in New York. Fast forwarding into the future and following the of these amazing ships which created history and continue to strengthen the bond between France and the United States, Le Yacht is a technological wonder of its own, making its debut in New York. With only 20 ultra luxury suites, guests will have an opportunity to live a vibrant lifestyle across Manhattan while being able to retreat in the island of peace at any moment. All accommodation will be spacious, contemporary design style with a river sea view and will include personal butler service. Two large suite cabin, an 18 luxury cabin. A wellness spa representing the philosophy of his journey will embrace the mystical power of the skyline of Manhattan. A gastronomical world-class restaurant on board with its private Michelin star, will treat guests to a true and unique culinary experience. A movie theater, entertaining room and boarding room for private projections, special entertainment and corporate meetings. Le Yacht, a one-of-a-kind experience, a design of our time. With its state-of-the-art stabilizer, it creates at all time a perfectly smooth ride the boat will travel on and off at different times of the day and nightfall around North Manhattan and will offer the highest end accommodation ever offered. Every journey begins with a dream. Imagine a culinary dining experience with spectacular view of Manhattan. Imagine sleeping in the most comfortable and luxury setting. Imagine having breakfast on the deck violent of the Statue of Liberty. Imagine being pampered in the most luxury spa while cruising under the Brooklyn Bridge. Imagine it all. Le Yacht has been conceived to make all these dreams become reality. Le Yacht, a unique and unforgettable ultra-luxury experience. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now, I wanted to uh, address a point Today, after uh, the presentations and during dinner and drinks and cocktail. Many people came to us and everybody had the same feeling. They were sharing uh, their positive feelings about a nice idea, how wonderful, how beautiful. So, this is kind of you know, what we have been experiencing. Now, we're going to go on the other side of the river. I want to challenge every one of you in an interactive exercise to tell me as an investor, or tomorrow you get to handle 100 million. This is a 40 million project, by the way, and it's not just in, in Manhattan. It's a, it's a concept that is going to be played in many cities and capitals of the world, copy-pasted. I want to challenge you and tell me why would you think this will not will not go, will not fly. Maybe you tell me people will get seasick, or maybe you tell me it's too expensive, or maybe you tell me uh, we all that um, investments should be on land and not on water. And I want us to tackle each and one of these questions in order to have some benefit out of this uh, exercise. Otherwise, we will be dreaming that we have the, pers the best idea to, yes. to fill in the gap of very expensive real estate in, in expensive places of the world, but we will be missing all your doubts. And, okay. 
We're here to, to know what are your doubts. And uh, it's a really here because it's the first time we present it ever. We haven't launched it yet. So it would be launched after, after the Coast Guard approval in New York in September. So my first question, fantastic. You know that I'm enthusiastic. I called my aunt. Yes, of I've course helped more than blah, blah number of peoples. And I know that the range for the product market fit is this price. Um, and, and I think you're missing an opportunity to establish your own credibility, which is immense, by saying, I already know the market um, dynamics of this. And into that, I identified a niche area, which is actually a wedge into servicing a much larger market of clientele that I know very well. And I think that would just neutralize a whole series of questions following it, because I know that about you. So we're not a budget product, if I can answer that. And they're ordering the uh, thrice as much amount of liquor in it. So this is the market that we're gapping. Uh, Jean-Pierre calls them, uh, how do you call them? Few and happy, happy and few. The happy few. So this is the market for that. And we're just having 20 keys. And we're having 20 keys to fill over a period of 345 days a year because, as I told you, we live 20 days out for anything. And that gives us a break-even point of 30% occupancy. Having slashed the 3,000 rates at half as a safety margin. You know, as a pilot, I fly gliders. On the gliders, when we calculate the distance to say, I'm going to the next landing field, we slash our gliding ratio by two, just to be on the safe side. We slash it in half. And this is how I run all the, as an economist, I slashed everything by two. And slashing everything by two, we are 35% okay. uh, break-even point. So okay. I believe... Okay, other questions, let's keep going. I appreciate it, Gio, but let's keep going. Other questions? To compared so. to a very expensive... Stay is the way. Stay word. somewhere. It's I don't understand it's how stay. it's going to work, if it's going to be able to pick it from here and take it from there. If the service, given the, um, the uh, tightness of the design and the tightness of the constraints, is going to be the same that I expect in a five, six star hotel, whatever it is. Uh, and I don't understand whether I should be able to feel the innovation that I'm sure this vessel has. Okay, so one by one. First of all, it's a hotel. It's a hotel that is moving in order to make it more exciting more since it's floating. We have a yacht just to occupy the space and give the rooms and to be static. So we are going to be doing daily, even one, day after day, uh, every other day, a small tour to the Statute of Liberty, to uh, you know the usual places that uh, uh, we could go without going uh, distances, without going to the Hamptons, for example. We're just going to be staying in uh, um, Hudson River and, uh, and the sort, as far as Manhattan. Second question is that uh, your experience is a stay experience, but of course you can charter it all for your corporation because after all it's only 20 rooms or for a family uh, uh, party or for something like that. Um, uh, third thing, the value proposal uh, as of service, we kept it to the highest standard on the charter yachts, which is one by one crew to guests ratio. So at every given uh, time we're going to have 40 people staff in there for the 40 guests, 20 keys by two. Uh, the culinary experience is going to be Michelin star restaurants, either uh, guest uh, chefs or um, uh, rented by a Michelin star restaurant. And of course the service to and from because, for example, my wife challenged it and she said, uh, what if I'm shopping and I just want to go back to the hotel, I'm tired with all my bags. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to wait for the, for the boat like that, having paid all that money, obviously. We're having three luxury limousine tenders no open air and everything, you know, like the best of the best, like the Ocean Victory $550 million yacht of Victor that are going to be transferring you free of charge, included in that rate, anywhere you want to go. The yacht is out, they're just going to wash you there. Allow me if, I, if I can just say one thing, I, anyone uh, funded the $40 million would um, buy it. I, I, the people that I know that would um, put $40 million into that would buy the whole thing themselves and not share. So I, when I listened to it yesterday, part of the reason why I was, I was, there's something about what Yanni says that makes sense because I kept on saying beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I didn't know who, because I think there's a group that would own it. There's another group that could stay there, but we're talking 
funding as well as experience, and it, for me, it's just not clear. So to answer, we're, we're keeping a, we're keeping a 15 percent just to safeguard that we are there. We are 85 percent of that, and we're doing that because we want to do, like I told you earlier, copy pasted uh, Le Yacht in many major other destinations. Um, obviously, we don't want to invite a major hotel player to give their name next to it now because they will just overshadow the whole thing and they will own it and it's not our intention and uh, the way to view it the, the value experience the, the person who will go there marketing is a big thing of it uh, there will be let's say important people invited as guests and the after effect what they will uh, what they will um, uh, put on social media about their experience the way that we're going to gear it is going to justify the concept so the concept will be justified if important, let's say, forgive the expression, everybody's important, but uh, important people go there as our guests, use the services and say, wow, this is the place to stay in Manhattan. Yeah. This is what we're saying, not just a hotel. They could take circle lines with uh, with 100 bucks and go around and see it's the Statute of Liberty. It's not what we're selling. We're not even selling the very finest suite on a hotel yet. perhaps but this is all constructive feedback when it comes to the launch in New York have you considered the winter in New York and you would move this to Florida or do you intend to keep no this? no we intend to keep it we keep it in winter there we keep it in winter in New York that's that's why you see all the it's it's one million eight hundred fifty thousand dollars of glass on this on this yacht, so that's why we have all this glass effect to give less uh, less um, uh, burden on the on the shoulders of uh, of heating it, even in the winter and so on. But it stays in the winter. It's a perfect like likewise that you have a a, a nice uh, condo in a, in a skyscraper in New York. You don't move out just because it's winter. Okay. You're indoors. Can yes, go ahead. Uh, this a really a project of how you market it? It I is. I mean, you're going to market, you Big, know, you're going to convince people this is exactly. a place to come during Christmas time. This is a place to exactly. pay lots of money because it's classy. This is, isn't that the place? Exactly. That's it. That's what it is. Okay. That's Thank what it you. is. Thank you. Matt? Yeah. yeah please. I have one uh, on the trailer in a moment, but first I want to ask you one question. You said you wouldn't go to the Hamptons or the Bahamas. Is that because of, of range? Because it's electric, right? Or It's electric yeah, because of range and because we're not a cruiser. We, we have cruisers out. We could do cruisers. This is a luxury hotel. Floating palace. That is, yeah, that is floating. And why is it floating? I gave the presentation yesterday because to go on land to do that, you need twice as much the money to find the land, to build it and all that. Okay. Some more comments on the trailer, just like, just want to help you, not to criticize. I wouldn't put uh, an image of the Titanic in there. That's just my personal opinion. There is opinion. no Titanic. In it there. looks like the Titanic. In which one? It's what? <laughs> okay. Well, that was one thing. Okay. Well, well, if I think it could be the Titanic, people will think that too. That's yeah. <laughs> and the other thing is the voiceover. I would hire a voice actor for that. I think you did the the voiceover. Yeah, okay. So when you do, uh, when you release this to the public, I would uh, hire he a charge voice actor. Us. He charges us for I, that. I will for do it for voice. you. I will do it for you for free. <laughs> okay. like, a, like a trailer voice, you know, this summer comes in the